Hi all, welcome to AnjanJCP.Engineering. So, so far uh, in our previous demos, right, uh, we have been using Google Cloud Storage Service in many places, right, and uh, we haven't discussed any uh, specific concepts related to this particular service, right. So, in this video, we will focus on uh, this concept called Google Cloud Storage uh, Object Lifecycle Management. This is one of the basic concept and very important concept right when you are working with the google cloud storage okay and uh, coming to uh, the demo right so actually what we will do we'll try to create a bucket and, and then we'll try to apply all this object lifecycle management management rules so while creating a google cloud storage bucket right so there are so many options available right so uh, very quickly I will go through those options right and uh, and then we'll uh, proceed with the actual demo right uh, coming to the concepts right so basically uh, insert a bucket right so you may be having a different object object can be anything object can be a file or it can be a uh, text file or it can be a csv or it can be even a video or audio file right so and uh, basically if you have to delete that object based on some criteria let's say in order to save some cost right uh, uh, like storage cost right then you will have to manually go there and you have to delete that object right but if you want uh, that particular object to be deleted based on some conditions right and then what you will do right so that's where uh, this particular comps, uh, concept will help us okay uh, that is object lifecycle management. Uh, basically, uh, in order to do that, right, you you will have to configure uh, lifecycle management uh, on that particular bucket, and this particular rules or condition will be applicable to uh, all the objects which are a part of that bucket. It cannot be applied to a, a single object right and also remember so it is applicable to existing objects and also the future objects which are coming into that bucket okay so as i already told uh, this configuration consists of two things one is rule and also uh, actions right so we will discuss in detail in the next slide right so when that object meets the, that criteria whatever you set as part of that rule so google cloud storage uh, will automatically do that or perform that particular action right so if you set it for delete so it will just delete or if you set it for change the storage class from the standard to near line and cold line so we will see all this uh, while while we while we creating that bucket okay so yeah like that you can um, uh, configure the lifecycle management uh, on top of a bucket and it is applicable to all the objects which are a part of that bucket okay now coming to the use cases right so this is one use case where based on some criteria right if you would like to downgrade the storage from the standard to the lower version like near line or core line after a certain period of time um, example 365 days right so yeah so you can set all this as part of your uh, lifecycle management right and if you want to delete uh, an object um, which belongs to that before january 1st uh, 2023 one nine right so so this is one condition right and also uh, keep only three most recent versions so this is one more concept called object versioning so we will uh, discuss this concept uh, in a different video right but uh, so it is the same thing right so you can maintain different versions for an object okay so if you want to preserve those uh, three most recent uh, uh, versions of the object uh, you can you can set all those condition right so coming to uh, this uh, configuration right so if you have to extend our discussion so basically on high level consists set of rules and rule will have two things uh, one is condition uh, and the other one is action right so condition means uh, for example uh, it can be anything age of that object right and um, and there are so many conditions so while we perform our demo you can see all those conditions right on the google cloud console page but this is one example if that belongs to uh, previous 45 days if you want to delete that so that delete comes under this action so and also set so storage class right this is one more action like that we do have other options so just go to the google cloud storage official documentation there you will 
you can find all those list and conditions and actions right so i think this will help you to understand it right on high level uh, then uh, we'll move on to the demo so in the demo what we will do so as i told um, so we'll create a bucket and um, maybe uh, we'll try to place an object or file and also um, uh, we'll try to configure the object lifecycle management uh, conditions and rules right so right so there actually there are two things we will see one is for deleting and one is for uh, moving the object from one storage class to the other storage class okay so right so for example from standard storage to the archive right and also uh, delete the object af after 200 days so this is one simple example maybe while performing the demo uh, we may see some different examples just uh, we will quickly go to the demo right okay so yeah here we'll try to create one bucket quickly right so in order to see what are the options we have very quickly right so, so you have to name the bucket so like um, right so that's it this is the bucket name and uh, you click on continue see here you can create the bucket uh, based on location type right so if you want your bucket to be available in multiple regions right right your data especially you can go for the multi region right so here we do have different option europe asia uh, pacific and us right and if you want your bucket to be uh, available only in dual region so you can go for the option it's a single region you can go for this option right uh, then click on next then you will see all the storage class options right so usually this is one more option auto class based on uh, uh, some criteria automatically um, it will just switch the storage classes automatically you don't have to do anything but in this demo we will focus on this right so right so if you want to frequently access your bucket so you will have to go for the standard option uh, there is one more class called near line so here itself you they have explained it clearly right so it's a self-explanatory thing right so data access less than once in a month then you can opt for near line if it is a core line right so uh, it is less than one quarter right and uh, once in a quarter i mean to say and archive and uh, it is basically an archival storage where you you like to access your data uh, once in a year right then you can go for this and uh, for example let's say you are uh, storing uh, some object or files into the standard storage class and uh, after a certain period of time maybe after two months or three months you would like to you would like to save some cost so then you can change the class to near line or core line or archive right so that uh, cost will be saved right this is one good example or good use case for our object life cycle management so and it should be done automatically right so you have to configure your object life cycle management file accordingly right okay and then uh, coming click on continue there you can see these access controls right? there are two types of access controls you can give right one is uniform and one is prime grain uniform means it is always at bucket level it will be fully controlled by iam and if you want to and this is always at object sorry bucket level okay and if you want to control access at object level within the bucket then you can go for fine grain by default usually we go with the uniform access control okay then again click on continue there you can see uh, there is an option to even uh, go for object versioning if you go for it then ob versioning will be enabled on top of your uh, bucket right so that's it now you will click on create right and click on confirm then it will create that bucket okay so right now you have this bucket now you would like to right so let me upload some files sample file okay so maybe this file okay so okay refresh now we have one object that is file and you like to apply some rules right so here you can see there is an option called tab called life cycle for that you have to click on this then you have to click on add rule right here it is displaying so many options right so these are the actions right later you will get the conditions so this is one action where it will set the storage class if you want to move it from standard to near line after certain period of time uh, after certain period of time then you can go for this 
uh, right so like that set storage class to code line set storage class to archive or else you delete the object okay or else you delete the multi part upload this is one more concept so there is an option called multi part upload while you are uploading data into google cloud storage bucket if something goes wrong with the multi part upload and you would like to delete them so for that this is one action available you can even set that right so let me select this uh, click on continue then you will get all this okay conditions right so based on which condition you are going to perform that action right based on age means this will give in days so if you specify one so after one day it will be moved from cold sorry standard storage class to the near line storage class right so and also we have an option called object name matches prefix object name matches suffix okay that means uh, if you have a multiple objects available within the bucket and based on some prefix you want to set this rule right so you can do that right so like that we do have so many other conditions so just go to the official documentation to understand all this so that it will be very much helpful to you and it, it will give you more and more information to understand that this particular concept okay now click on continue right and you click on create okay now you can see this configuration is done and automatically whenever that condition met it will be uh, executed by google cloud storage okay so that is action is set to near line after one day right so it will just calculate that period based on the creation time of the object and it will just perform that action okay so i hope you are clear and if you want to delete this uh, this rule just click on this this is for edit and if you want to delete come back and there is a symbol right click on that so that it will be deleted right so i hope you are clear now we are going to perform the similar activity using our command line uh, interface or commands and also uh, python client libraries right so for that i've already enabled this cloud shell okay now let me go back to the commands okay so and anyway i'll be sharing all these commands and the code uh, uh, with the video description okay uh, right so these are the commands so what we will see we have created this bucket right so we will try to list uh, right the rules right that is life cycle management rules if there are any rules already available on uh, on top of this packet right so for that you can use this command right that is gcloud storage bucket describe right default life cycle so it just displayed null that means there is there are no rules available right now we will set some rules for that what you can uh, do so you have to use this particular command that is a storage bucket update and here you will have to mention the configuration in the form of json file right so if you come back to our cloud shell environment just click on this and uh, this is one configuration json file i have placed it uh, in the cloud shell environment right you can see so here just try to understand these rules the rule one right there are two rules actually right so as i already told rule will have action and condition right so action is set storage class that means from standard to near line it will move after 365 days right right condition is this this will be in the standard uh, storage class initially after 365 days it will move that uh, object to the near line storage class okay now the second rule is this so initially it is available in the near line after 730 days it will move that near line object to the core line right so both of the actions are set storage this is the simple configuration right so here you will have to pass that configuration file right like this right so that it will set that rule okay now execute uh, this command so we are setting the configuration now for lifecycle management of that particular object so that bucket right so now this is the bucket which we have created right go to the lifecycle right now click on re refresh 
now you can see there are two rules have been set up right so one is set to nil and one is set to quali right now i would like to clear these rules for that there is one more command so clear life cycle if you just try to execute this command this will just delete those two rules okay exclude that it says completed now go back to your bucket here uh, click on refresh okay now you can see there are no rules what we will do using our um, python code right python client libraries so we will try to perform the same thing right this is the code okay so what it is doing so it will take the bucket name as an input argument and it is using this storage uh, google cloud uh, libraries right so i'm just using that storage and uh, here i'm defining that storage client and uh, taking that bucket name as an ar input argument and uh, here by using this particular thing right you can uh, try to access the rules right that is uh, now you can see the client is available here so using this client object you will try to access this particular method lifecycle rules right so here i will try to print the rules if there are any rules already set up on top of that bucket it will just display otherwise null you can see then right what we will do in the first case right will set up the rule that is add lifecycle uh, delete rule that means after two days age equal two means after two days it will just delete that object from that bucket that's it it's a simple rule so the action is delete the condition is uh, after two days okay so that is an age age of that particular object okay now if you try to execute this so what it will it will list the rules and then it will apply those rules and then again it will try to display those rules okay uh, now execute that this particular script right so initially uh, there there are no rules right applied on top of that bucket now it has applied this rule that is delete after two days right so now what we can do we can go back to our code right now what we will do we'll try to clear the rules right for that what i'll do i will just comment out this part that is adding rule right now by using this method that is bucket clear clear life cycle rules so that it will delete the existing rules so if you go back to your bucket and uh, just refresh then you can see one rule is uh, active that is delete delete object after two days now go back and uh, try to run this code again okay so here if i so that it will delete the rules now you can see it has listed this and then deleted now it is trying to display there are no rules if you go back to your bucket click on refresh there is no rule so like this so you can use one option like uh, you can use google Cloud console to do this or else command line uh, interface that is cloud shell environment using g cloud commands or else a python client libraries to achieve this particular thing right and uh, uh, here right so since uh, at least we'll have to wait one or two days i'm not able to show that so how exactly it is performing that action maybe you can try it out right just set one rules and wait for one or two days as per your condition right set on top of that object then it will be deleted automatically okay deleted or whatever the uh, action you are um, specifying over there in that rule it will be performed okay so i hope this is clear and it helps you a lot so that's it for this video and thank you for watching this video we will meet in the next video